Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, August 15th. And if you trade the S&P E-minis, I have an important video for you that should give you some insight that will help you make more profitable trades. And I want to just give you an example of a tool that I use, and I've been talking about it many times on my videos, called the Taylor Trading Technique or the Taylor Trading Zone. George Taylor developed a method of measuring market movements over 75 years ago in studying grain markets. These markets gave George Taylor the means of measuring where markets are likely to trade. Over the years, other people have taken George Taylor's formulas that have been developed or that were developed for swing trading and tweaked them so that they are applicable to day trading. And to me, the Taylor calculations are the most important factor that I use to trade. I call them the closest thing to having a crystal ball. Now on Tuesday, August 15th, here's my Taylor trading zone as calculated using Taylor's calculations. And the trading zone resistance was at 45.11, support down at 44.67. And the previous day's close was at 45.06. Now, typically, markets tend to gravitate toward the previous day's close. So let's take it from the top where the market opened right here at 930 and the market opened at about 4487. So that gave us about a 20 point potential gap trade. But of course, as the day wore on and the market didn't gravitate toward the gap, but instead dropped down and dropped down rather quickly toward the target of the Taylor trading support number at 44.68. Now, Taylor support and resistance, the absolute price levels of support and resistance, this is, I'm talking about 44.68 and, 44, and 45.11, are not always accurate due to um, the way market news makes the market trade erratically against the way that prices would normally open up. Now, prices would normally open up without morning news. Prices would open up at the previous day's close. They would have opened right over here at 45.06. They didn't. Uh, but nevertheless, the market traded down to the trading zone support at 44.86 and basically traded down under there, broke through and basically came back up. And for the rest of the day, look where the mark, look what the market did. It put in a support at 44.63. So that is a area of support that hasn't broken through. It's tested this level one, two, three times, four times. And so by 2.30, odds are that prices were not going to break through this level. And they did in the morning, but that level held steady for most of the day. So chances were prices were going to trade up and respect this support level. But using Taylor, I didn't think so because the Taylor trading range is very accurate. And so what I did at 2.30, I took my Taylor trading zone and I transposed it. I made a clone of it and I took the clone and I moved it down to the intraday high. And the intraday high told me that the market should trade down to 44.48. And so at 2.30, I didn't know which way the market was going to trade, but I bet that it was going to trade down. And so where did the market trade? 44.48. And so this is the power of the Taylor calculations. This is the power of the Taylor trading zone. It took me years to understand George Taylor's formulas, and they work for not only the S&P e mini market, they work for almost every market. And most professional traders use the Taylor trading calculations in order to help them trade. And as, it, as I said, for me, it's the closest thing to having a crystal ball. If you'd like to get these, these Taylor calculations, you can get them at my site at timelessdollar.com. This is what it looks like. This is what the George Taylor calculations look like. There are a dozen calculations that go into it giving you a support number and a resistance number, highlighted in yellow in the calculator. And using this calculator, you can be more, you can trade more insightfully and probably more profitably. So that's the video for today. Thanks so much for watching. 
Trade safely, use lots of patience, and I'll see you in my next video.